guys, so most people have been wondering, what do I think of the Sonic Lost World reviews? Did I like them? Did I dislike them? Did I agree with them? Did I disagree with them? Okay, so did I agree with the, the reviews? Did I like them? No, I didn't. <sighs> hey, what the frick? They're freaking unprofessional as frick! Hey, what the freaking fricks? <sighs> I mean, let's see. Perhaps the worst reviewers, okay, IGN freaking gave Sonic Lost World a 5.8 out of 10. After all, the positive impressions they gave it. Yeah, they gave it a freaking 5.8 out of 10! If you think that's bad, oh, it gets worse. So much worse. GameSpot. Or should I get, or should I say game spoof gave it frickin' a 5 out of 10, even lower than Bubsy 3D, one of the worst games of all time. What the frick? I mean, seriously, how'd this game get a lower score than Bubsy 3D? It's not even bad. It's freaking good. It's a fantastic Sonic game. Possibly my favorite modern Sonic game. Alright guys, and I'll explain why the reviews were freaking bonkers as frick. So let's see. IGN said Sonic Lost World was freaking freaking a mediocre game because oh let's see bad level design awkward controls too difficult what the frick first of all too difficult get the frick over it i mean seriously i mean i mean seriously the classics were challenging. Oh, are they cl haters of the classics? I mean, what the frick? The classics were the best games. The, the recent Sonic games have been freaking easy as frick. And now they're going back to the times when the Sonic games took skill and Sonic Lost World gets bashed for it. What the frick? I mean, they say, oh, the controls are too awkward. Oh, and the enemies are too confusing to defeat. First of all, the boss battles were the complete opposite of challenging. The boss battles were pretty much pathetic, but that's pretty much one of the only flaws about the game. But anyways, let's see. They said... Oh yeah, we we don't like how we don't like how they deleted the boost and brought back the spin dash. Sonic's too slow in this game. First of all, how the frick is he slow in this game? I mean, seriously. I mean, do they even know that you can use the freaking spin dash where you can freaking Hold down the button to keep Sonic in spin dash formation for a while. Did they even freaking know you could freaking do that? What the frick? I mean, how is the game too slow? And let's see. I mean, they're bashing the difficulty. They can't handle a game being difficult. They're novices at Sonic. They're just... They're just freaking bashing the game for no reason like a bunch of freaking fricks. <sighs> I mean, come on. In bad level design? How is it bad level design? It takes us back to the times when it was about momentum based platforming. That's what everyone likes! But not IGN. They liked the days when. 
all you have to do to go full speed is hold down a button. When in the classics, you earned your momentum. It felt rewarding. Pressing a button to go full speed is not rewarding, you freaking freaks. I mean, freaking, the daytime unleashed stages weren't bad by any means, especially colors and generations. But of course, classic Sonic was superior in Sonic generations, but anyways, just what the frick? But Sonic Lost World improves. Sonic Lost World is an amazing new transition for Sonic into 3D. Frickin' it has vibes of the classics to it. I mean, think about it. The spin dash, the bandits, the cartoonish style... The light-hearted feel, freaking the freaking the death animation, freaking you know, freaking when Sonic is going full speed, just look at how he's running. It resembles the super peel out from Sonic CD and Sonic Triple Trouble, otherwise known as Sonic and Tails 2. But anyways, just freaking think about it. I mean. You jump on capsules, just like how you jump on computer monitors, instead of simply being able to run into them to break the capsules to obtain frickin' rings and shields and frickin' frick. And for once, Sonic can use elemental shields. Freaking good! It's freaking good! And just freaking think about it. I mean, this game is probably the 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 uh, this game is the closest game to the classics that's a modern Sonic game. Sonic Generations was a classic Sonic and a modern Sonic game. All right, guys, just to clear up the confusion. Anyways, Sonic Lost World is just a really good game. A freaking good as frick game. The parkour system is a nice addition too. It's much more favorable than the boost in my opinion. Alright guys, and the parkour system isn't as hard to master as reviewers have been saying. And overall, the game isn't even that difficult. I mean, let's see. I beat the game in a few days. And, I mean, I did lose quite a few lives. But, you know what? It's not as difficult to master as they say. I mean... Getting S ranks, getting S ranks actually pushes you to speed run like an expert, a super skill run. I mean, seriously, and collecting all the red rings, I mean, players want to unlock Super Sonic, don't they? I mean, that that promotes players to collect all the red rings. So far, I've collected four Chaos Emeralds. I mean, seriously, this game has lots of replay value. Lots of freaking replay value. I mean, seriously. And, let's see. The soundtrack is possibly my favorite soundtrack from a modern Sonic game. This is pretty much my favorite modern Sonic game, but taking the place of Sonic Colors, but just freaking think about it. I mean, the, the soundtrack is very catchy. I mean, we've got jazzy music, 
I mean, it's just freaking catchy as frick, and we just have orchestral music. It's just freaking good. I mean, what do people have against the soundtrack? The soundtrack is fitting for each environment you enter. I mean, seriously, seriously. I mean, and people criticize this game for ripping off a Super Mario Galaxy. I mean, I, I already know about the Sonic and Mario debate about gravity and and running on spherical planes. Sonic did the spherical planes first in Sonic One in Scrap Brain Zone, but Mario did the planets first in freaking Super Mario World to Yoshi's Island, plus Mario into Space first in Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. But you know what? The point is, you people need to stop bashing this game just for resembling Super Mario Galaxy. I, I like Super Mario Galaxy. I mean, how is it bad if we have a Sonic game that resembles Super Mario Galaxy? Consider it a spiritual successor, you frickin' fricks. I mean, come on. It's a good Super Mario Galaxy ripoff. There's a difference between a good ripoff and a bad ripoff. And plus... All Sonic Lost World rips off of from Super Mario Galaxy is frickin' the planetoids and the gravity and tubular sections and frickin' frick. But that's it! Otherwise, it has its own original attributes. So you guys just need to shut the frick up and accept that Sonic Lost World is not a mediocre game. It at least deserves an 8.5 or 9 out of 10, I mean, personally, I give it even higher than a 9 out of 10. I may even review it, but you know what? To all the reviewers, curse you! You're not even professional! You're just bashing the game, you freaking fricks! Get over it! Sonic Lost World's a great game! And, seriously, I mean, you know what? At this point, Sega just needs to frickin' show all the haters that they can frickin' overcome them and make a frickin' 3D environment, 3D environmental platforming classic Sonic game. I mean, think about it. I mean, imagine Sonic 3 and Knuckles or Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, or Sonic and CD. Imagine that in 3D. I mean, imagine that gameplay in 3D. I mean, wouldn't that be magnificent? But no, Sonic Adventure 3. Oh, I have some ideas for Sonic Adventure 3. How about Dr. Robotnik? I mean, Dr. Eggman creates some shadow duplicates. Oh, or how about freaking Mephilus Returns? Oh, oh, I have a better idea. How about there are some alien hedgehogs from outer space who come to invade Mobius? No! 3D environmental platforming classic Sonic game, idiots! That's what'll improve the Sonic franchise. That's what'll mm, make him popular again. That's what'll get the Sonic series back on its feet. And that's what'll make critics and fans fully love Sonic again. Don't you understand? I mean, I get what it's like to really enjoy games and think that there should be more like it, but have you freaking fricks ever thought about what's best for the Sonic series? Think about when Sonic was doing best. 
during the early 90s. I mean, Sega should go back to that. Alright, guys. But anyways, Sonic Lost World Reviewers, frick you, and you know what, this rant is frickin' done. Goodbye, you fricks.